Then let's go back to look at this again. So you may then see, okay, here was sine pi over 6 equals 1 half. Then another way to write this will be arc sine 1 half is pi over 6. This one. Or you may say this angle. Huh? Okay. And then you may also write, since sine pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2, you may also write arc sine radical 2 over 2 is pi over 4. And here, arc sine radical 3 over 2 is pi over 3. Similarly, you can do for negative numbers. Okay, so here you then can write arc sine negative one half is negative pi over six. That's this one. Arc sine negative radical two over two is negative pi over 4 is this one. Okay, and here arc sine radical 3 over 2 is negative pi over 3. You may write like that. Here, 0, 0. So arc sine 0 means this 0 equals zero means the angle zero. Okay, means the angle zero here. And here how oh, I'm going to write that. Arc sine negative one here is negative one is the angle negative pi over two. That's this one. And here you then have an arc Sine one is pi over two in this angle. So arc something always give you an angle. Okay. So all those values are right here. Now uh, we need to look is that The following thing, look at this again. You see, this one is arc sine one half goes to pi over six. So it's basically the red one from one half goes to pi over six. Uh, that's basically the things right here. Okay, right here. See the one down here. Okay, now pi over six is ready, right here. If you act sign on that, then that will be sine arc sine one half. This is pi over six, and then it gets to one half. Okay, so. Basically, what I'm saying is that from one half goes to pi over six, and then it goes back to one half. This is what this sentence means. You see, first arc sine one half goes to pi over six, and then use sine to act on that. Okay, so one half goes to pi over six. That's arc. And then using sine to act on this, it goes back. So is the case for zero. Okay. Yeah. You have a what? Arc sine zero is zero. And then 
uh, you then add sine zero, use arc sine zero is zero uh, from here to here. And then you put sine on that, it goes back to zero again. So sine arc sine zero is zero. Okay? And so is the case for this one. You start from negative radical 3 to 2. Using the red one, inverse one goes to negative pi over 3. So that's here. From this one goes to this one, negative pi over 3. Ah. Yeah. And then you use sine to act on that, the blue line, it goes back. So that's basically what I wrote here. Sine, sine. And then you see negative radical 3 go back to radical, radical 3 over 2. Uh, here is 2. Here is 2. So in general, what do we have? This is what in general. Sine x sine x is just x. Okay, this is true. It's basically a value, like one half, goes back to an angle here, pi over 6. This gives us an angle. And then you using sine act on the angle, it goes back to the same x. That's the one case, y identity. One identity, we need to know that. You know, we initiated from right to the left. But you know, you can also start from pi over 6. Pi over 6, using sine, okay, you then have a 1 half. Pi over 6 goes to 1 half, using sine. And then if you want to go back from 1 half to sine, uh, to pi over 6, then you want to use arc sine. Okay, so arc sine sine pi over 6 is actually pi over 6. We did for pi over 6, you can also look at 0. Okay, start from 0 to this 0, the blue one is sine. Okay, yeah, sine. Sine 0 is 0. Ah, sine 0 is 0, you see. And then from this 0 to this 0, you use arc sine. If you use arc sine, act on that, then arc sine, this 0 goes to this 0, so eventually it's 0. So you have a 0, 0 here. Okay. Similarly, for negative pi over 3 to negative radical 3 over 2, you use sine, that's this one. Okay, that's the one down here. Yeah. So, Hmm. Um, I should this one cannot be like negative radical 3 over 2 here huh? so it has to be what it has to be Square this one. It has to be negative pi over three to what this place is radical 
302. Okay. Yeah. And then you use arc sign act on negative radical 302. So this place has to be negative pi over 3. Alright. So for an angle sign, this angle goes to a value. And then you use arc sine act on that, it goes back to the original angle. Uh, this is what it says. It's like here, the picture. Blue and negative pi over 3. Then you have goes to the value. So that's sine negative pi over 3 to the negative radical 3 over 2. And then use the red one goes back. That's arc. Red one is arc. So you have a negative pi over 3. And here, what I'm saying is that this value, negative pi over 3, end up with negative pi over 3. Okay? So, in general, what do we have is right here. You then have a arc sine sine x equals x. Remember we restricted our x to from negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. So arc sine sine x is x. This x must be in this interval. Or you may say on this interval since those two boundary points are included. Okay. Remember, the first one is initiated from a value to a, to an angle. This is an angle there. And then using sign go back to the same value. This one started is from an angle. Using sign goes to a value right here. Angle goes to a value. And then from right hand side, arc goes back. So you have an x. And this x must be inside. Initiated place is from negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. So that's why you end up. This x must be inside. Remember, the output of arc sine should be here, cannot be pi. 2 pi or cannot be negative pi. It has to be in quadrant 4 and 1, or 1. Okay? And here x, arc sine x, this is from negative 1 to positive 1 again. The domain is here. Okay? So you cannot put 2 here. If you put 2 here, this is not defined. Alright? So, so far, I guess we are clear about all those values. Arc sign, domain, and range. Now, probably we need to consider the graph. 